have a lot to say. I would like to share my day two experience with the great liver and gallbladder flush. So I'm at the part of the cleanse where a person is supposed to consume 32 ounces of apple juice every day for a six day period or a substitute of a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of malic acid in four to eight ounces of water every day for an eight day period. And I've made adjustments to that and I talk more about that in video number one. But definitely get the book because it tells all the information that a person needs to know about the great liver and gallbladder flush. So, <clears throat> Day number one, I really did not give to provide all the information because I filmed early. And so I want to give a little brief recap. I had an experience with the malic acid that I was unprepared for. The book doesn't talk about it, nor have I heard anybody else talking about it, but I haven't heard anybody else do malic acid either. Um, so after that, I did develop irritation in my mouth. It was raw. It felt there was a glossy... Um, smooth feeling between my tongue and the top of my mouth. It felt like I had eaten jaw I mean not um uh, lemon heads all day. It was raw and I was able to offset this by consuming my 64 ounces of water and adding two tablespoons of wheatgrass and I kind of slushed that around my mouth and that helped soothe the irritation that I felt because I actually get irritation when I eat um grapefruit too so there's something going on there. But anyway other than that I went to the number one all day long. I was back and forth to the bathroom. It's like my body was trying to push out the extra malic acid. And um, that was it for day number one. So day number two, well, let me say this. <clears throat> Prior to any cleanse, I always do an organic coffee enema. It allows my uh, body to reset itself, takes the pressure off of my liver so it can focus on what I'm doing in the cleanse. So I did one of those. And I'm very familiar with the three day or four, three to four day process of me not having a uh, bowel movement. And I know how to deal with that historically. I can speed that up by uh, doing my 20 minute walks and as well as drinking just a little bit more than my requirement of water. And I was prepared for that. But uh, day one, I did not get an opportunity to, and that was fine. So day two. I was very surprised, and I know it was the malic acid because historically, it has this has never happened. I actually had a movement, a number two, in the morning, and it was not to give too much information, but it was rough going, so I knew there was a little de dehydration there, and I needed to drink a little extra water, and the information that I am seeing says that you need to drink a lot of water with the malic acid. So, and all throughout that day, it was like I was doing a malic acid detox. I was just, stuff was coming out, and I'm like, where's this stuff coming from? I've done an organic coffee enema. So, I was intrigued, and I definitely looked into it, and I'll provide some more information at the end, towards the end. But, uh, day number two, I chickened out, basically. I did not, I waited until the last part of the day to attempt the malic acid. I was really turned off from my day one shock that an hour before bed, I did half of a teaspoon of malic acid in eight ounces of water. On top of that, about 16 ounces of uh, apple juice. And that day, it was a little mild bloating. It wasn't painful, but um, I, all I ate was a, a salad. And it was like five cups of greens and some other things in there. But I felt full the whole day with my requirement of water. So there was a little bit of bloating going on there, but it, it worked out fine. And uh, day two went, uh, went off just, just easy breezy. So it's day three, and I don't have anything going on with my mouth or any rawness or anything like that. And actually, I have not been going back and forth to the bathroom today either. So getting into the information that I found. I will have more detailed information in the description box, but from my understanding, malic acid has been used to treat fibromyalgia. That's the pain and stiffness that some people randomly, chronically feel all over their body, as well as chronic fatigue syndrome, low stomach acids, and I'm going to add acid reflux, as well as athletes use it to support energy levels during workout and the pain and discomfort that results from muscle building. So. 
I read that um, malic acid helps with energy that is stored from the food that we eat and the breaking down of that food to produce and make energy available in the body as well as, which I think I benefited from, digestion. It triggers hydrogen and the stomach acids to increase so that more stomach acid is available to break down and allow for the processing of vitamins and minerals from the food that we're eating. So I received a little extra, so I wanted to provide a little extra. There is more to come. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.